Gaians, I am the Neural and this is Building Gaia. Today we are going to be working on the bridge to the core and oh by the way we have a new subscriber to welcome. Uh, he is uh, Kratos. Yeah, Kratos. The link to his channel will be in the description. We met at CobbleCon, so welcome Kratos. Warm guy and welcome. Uh, and uh, for the newest of you, I was just here uh, at our little villagers here, which are unlocked up to the paper trade, and they still have to unlock the gold trade, and I have farmed probably hundreds of stacks of emeralds from, from these guys, but of course I use them to unlock other villagers uh, and tool for tools and whatever, so I have just made the second stack of emerald blocks uh, so we all of these will be traded for picks shovels axes mm, uh, some armor but essentially tools fast we uh, fast wearing uh, tools uh, so that uh, that is our little villager setup the old villager breeder we still have uh, <laughs> some refuse from the villager breeder which is up there but we took out the doors so the it's not working anymore and we don't need it anymore because villager trading has been severely nerfed uh, or will be severely nerfed in the 1.8 update and we won't be using anymore so we have an armorer uh, already fully unlocked and those three paper guys that will probably be rendered useless after the fact. But until then, uh, we will use and abuse these villagers because I like tools. Okay, everybody, I give it a thought. We're gonna have to design this... Wow, I have no idea how. Probably with a walkway that will connect up to that wall and open up into the ender crystal room now as for this what we could do ah man I didn't bring Ripper with me okay but what we could do is something along the lines of this bam and bam so that's connected and we could repeat this all throughout and then connect both ends and it would be like a kind of massive thing uh, massive support supported on these two structures and then what I was thinking is that we might want to bring these things down uh, up down to the seafloor and that would give it uh, I don't know I think it would help with the uh, the appearance the massive appearance uh, it could it might it might be a, a good idea to do it um, right now it's just dipped in the water so we might go with that but first I'm gonna see how this turns out and uh, I'll come back to you with the finished result probably uh, then we're gonna have to decide how to light it up, but that's a whole other issue So I'm gonna do this and be right back Okay, so this looks good so far You can see it now looks a lot more structured now <sighs> Now to actually close this off I was wondering if we couldn't do something along the lines of this go like so then out by one and two then out by one and two two here and two here let's try it let's keep trying two and uh, incorrect that is two uh, hmm no I need dripper 
I'm gonna grab Ripper real quick and be right back. Okay, I think I got it. So I just went diagonal from here. Just diagonal. Oh, I screwed up. Wow. I'm glad you guys were here. <laughs> so yeah, just diagonal, 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 all the way until it meets up here. Hmm. Now I am struggling with if I should leave this like this or if if some decoration is in order. Because uh, I, I like the, the way this thing... I like the lore th that I came up with for... for for the core a uh, thing a piece of of living rock a manifestation of, of Gaia so this thing is uh, is kind of like it it's as if it has a life of its own uh, so I, I wanted to to keep to keep some parts as if the they're an actual manifestation of a uh, uh, living, uh, a living ethereal being. Uh, well, that's not exactly how I describe Gaia, but I think you you get the point. Uh, some parts should be that; others for uh, should should be blatantly uh, man-made, like the inside of the core, our farms. Uh, so this part. Oh, look. Oh, it's a skeleton. Okay. Uh, so this part right here... Hmm. I'm not even sure what this is, if this is man-made or not. But it is man-made. This is man-made. So this should be two. Hmm. But we can stick to... We can stick to... Uh, to the the general aesthetics and go with uh, with just plain smooth stone I don't think we uh, I don't think we'd be at a loss because of it so yeah I think we're we're going with that so yeah that is there that is there yeah I got more more stone okay and that is there so blam blam and Blam. Is that okay? It is okay. It is. All right. All right. So how are we going to light this up? And are we going to leave this bland like this? We shouldn't. We really shouldn't. Uh, we have to work. So this is going to be exposed. So we're going to have to work with this. Maybe line it with, with brick stairs. That could be a, a, a reasonable possibility. I'm gonna go get some and we'll try it out. Okay, so I crafted some stairs and this is the result. However, there is a problem up there. Mm. We end up with four, four more spawnable spaces. And I, I don't know, block light 7. Yeah, sunlight 15, but that's okay. Yeah, block light 7, 7. This is spawnable space. I didn't want... Ugh, mosquito. I didn't really want to do this, but let's see how it looks. Not not really noticeable. I think we can get away with that. But perhaps then no 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 not no more. That's that's fine like that. I think that's fine. Yeah. Okay, okay. I know, I know you don't see it from up here, but you, you gotta tend to these little things. It's uh the 
when you care about the the teensiest things the entire build uh, starts coming to life uh, you don't you might not notice uh, the extra detail but trust me you notice the lack of detail uh, which is why ah man why i want to add something here May maybe some indentations maybe some torches fire sconces i think the the trees are far enough from the fire yeah i i get a little uh, uh, uh i get a little jittery when, when i'm playing with fire near the the lady hawk trees but they are yeah there you go we could have fire sconces here uh, or braziers or whatever you want to call them we could have them made out of brick or elevated we could have a little tower yeah kind of sorta a tower let's see um, one two three one two three one two three and one two three that would rise up just from over here it mm, really really small that's kind of small isn't it whoa ah man Ugh. That that is a bit small. It would be more of a square than than a, an actual circular tower. But hey, I'm gonna try it out uh, and s build it up. M maybe I don't know my head level plus three, and we'll see how it looks. All right, everybody, let's get to this. I want the sconces to be the sconces the the fire itself to be at the level where my feet are so these this is labora i want ripper these are gonna have to be netherrack so let's get some netherrack going right here and probably back here too now of course we we don't want this visible so what do you say we grab some stairs here and just go around yeah doing this hmm doing this okay and then from the inside we can have yet another pillar with one one or four with four pieces of netherrack in a cross shape up there so we can have this and uh let's do stairs with a central pillar and more stairs like that no not like that like this we need more Ah, man, I love it when inspiration hits. No, let's do these. And these. Ugh. These. Yeah, okay. And some stairs. There. Bam. So we can have these little buggers like this. Holding up some more smooth stone we can actually use one of these buggers to yeah that way we won't hear mobs in there like that and then we grab the stair idea so we're already using stairs uh, brick stairs down there so we we stick to the project to uh, we stick to the theme and use them again like so and we can have netherrack burning like this which means we'll have to cover them up cover it up so we can cover it up like this okay so we have these 
and we want is one of these enough no let's have them like this yeah and then we can we can go around with more stairs should we do stairs here we should not do stairs we're gonna break it up we're gonna break it up and use smooth stone here so it'll show in that little bit right there it'll show from down there and now we can just go on up a bit more two three one two three and one two three uh okay <laughs> oh, starting to get a little dangerous uh, but let's cram these guys here and what the oh yeah uh, slabs slabs oh I hate it when these things aren't stacked properly <laughs> and they should always be because it takes a it takes inventory space okay and now we can cap this off let's say like this I know I'm using Ripper and I shouldn't but screw it no that would be spawnable so no go we might consider a peaked roof here le let's add mm, that is spawnable so no go either hmm maybe another ring around here or possibly even oh, like this let's just cover you up this and this I'm already getting way ahead of myself here <laughs> I still have to do exactly the same on the other side hmm we might have to come out by one well, well le let's just see how this looks at night and we'll go from there Hey yep. Hey yep. Let's just get on scooch on over. Nothing can burn around here. No. Wow, that fire is loud. Options, music and sound. Sh could that be blocks? Yeah, it was. It's actually not very loud for me. <laughs> I can barely hear it, but uh, in the recording it's way louder. I'm always worried that something's burning. I think I like it. Maybe some of these down here could be uh could be moved up maybe could we move them up no it would show in the front ah man crap Hmm, but all in all, yes, I like it, except for for the roof. I think we're going to have to go with brick for the roof and possibly make a peaked roof that comes out a bit more. Uh, but mm, essentially, that is it. So I'm going to try to design a peaked roof that uh, that comes out a bit. Let me just check. Nothing's burning. Okay. 
I, I am so scared of that because when I accidentally lit the trees on fire, I thought the fire was sufficiently far away from, from the trees. And now with these weird updates and fire spread updates, I I'm never too sure of myself. So, yeah, I'm gonna try to design something and attempt to mimic this on this side. So I'll be back to you. Uh, I'll be back with you in just a little bit. Okay, everybody, we are already well over our time. Wispaid has joined the channel in the meantime. Our newest subscriber. We we are we we've already reached 50 subscribers. That's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. You guys seem to be uh, enjoying the series. So Wispaid we, uh, is an acquaintance from Cobblecon, and we've been having a lot of fun together. And as you can see, the, these uh, this is my modest proposal for the fire towers uh, over at the core's entrance. Uh, might need a bit of work, a bit of detailing, but essentially that will be it. Maybe the roofs ne need a bit of lighting up, but mm, I think this uh, this really yeah it 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 does what it what it needs to do yeah it incorporates the the brick uh, it has smooth stone it's got fire so well I think that's gonna be all for today so until next time guys I have been the Earl and I hope you have an awesome day.